हेलो एवरीवन आई एम शलाका देश पांडे एंड वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल सो बिफोर स्टडिंग द वेरियस एप्लीकेशंस ऑफ माइक्रो कंट्रोलर माइक्रो प्रोसेसर एंड बिफोर स्टडिंग इट्स आर्किटेक्चर इट्स अ क्वेश्चन बिफोर अस व्हाई द माइक्रो कंट्रोलर इज यूज्ड नाउ लेट मी गिव यू द एग्जांपल now uh, now there are various uh, home appliances and industrial appliances like your uh, washing machine semi automatic washing machine then your uh, automatic washing machine then we have microwave oven then we have uh, refrigerators okay then air conditioners measuring instruments automobiles and etc etc there are so many applications and appliances okay so to provide a mechanism to these appliances and make them uh, uh, their operation smooth okay to provide a mechanism to these appliances so that they can uh, uh, operate properly we require microcontroller okay so microcontroller is essential for their operation now these appliances are having various types of processes now various types of processes are occurring inside these appliances the timing and sequencing of this process is also controlled by microcontroller or microprocessor so that is basically the use of the microcontroller or microprocessor as discussed in one of my previous lectures of any embedded system microprocessor or microcontroller is the core so it is a very important part and before studying the architecture of any microcontroller we should know where it is used okay and uh, okay you should know that so today we are going to discuss about the washing machine application specific uh, i mean to say uh, example of the embedded system so okay today we are going to study about the washing machine so this is the diagram of the washing machine okay so you can see this washing machine it consists of three parts first is a sensor part and second is a control unit and third is a actuator part now what is this sensor part now the sensors of the washing machines are you can see these two sensors over here which i have highlighted this is a level sensor and this is a temperature sensor level sensor uh, it indicates or it detects the level of water what is the level of water inside the machine whether it is low level medium level high level so level of water inside the machine is detected by level sensor okay then comes a temperature sensor a uh, temperature sensor is uh, used to sense the temperature of the water whether the water is hot cold warm whatever the temperature of the water is sensed by this temperature sensor so these are the sensor part of your uh, washing machine now comes the actuator part now what is the actuator part of the washing machine you can see this uh, projection this is the actuator motorized agitator okay so this is the motorized agitator okay that comes under the actuator part then tumbled up this whole container this tumbled up this is again comes under the actuator part and water inlet valve to control the flow uh, to drain uh, water drain uh, drain the water and water inlet valve to control the flow of water inside the washing machine that is also contained in actuator part okay so this is the sensor part and this is the actuator part now can you see this integrated control panel the top i mean to say to cover the lid of the washing machine okay so integrated control panel what does it consist of integrated control panel consists of the board having microcontroller and microprocessor as a core and uh, it is having uh, interfaces uh, i mean to say input ports of the board are connected to sensors and output ports of the board are connected to actuators okay so this integrated control panel consists of the control unit which is having microcontroller or microprocessor and input port connected to sensor output port connected to actuator and uh, various user interfaces like uh, keypad and lcd led these are also connected to the control unit okay now let's see the working of this washing machine now this is working in two phases two important phases so in the first phase what is happening see this agitator motorized control agitator moves uh, in the clockwise and anti clockwise moves back and forth direction okay and because of this movement all the clothes inside the tub are centered at the bottom clothes reach the bottom and when the clothes reach the bottom again this agitator is continuously moving back and forth and clothes move their way up to the top and again the agitator grabs them and 
the process is repeated movement of clothes is repeated and water is also falling inside it okay by water inlet pipe water is also getting inside the tub okay now this was the first phase of the washing machine now second phase of the washing machine now clothes are completely washed for few minutes after that what is happening in the second phase of the washing machine it is called as a spin phase second phase is called as a spin phase in the spin phase this inner tubs uh, inner tub of washing machine moves okay uh, with the help of centrifugal force circular motion it moves uh, with the help of centrifugal force and because of that whole water is drained out of the inner tub okay you can see these are small holes uh, inside the inner tub so the water is uh, forced out of these uh, small tubs and collected in the outer tub and it is drained off okay fine so water is forced out of the holes and accumulated in the outer tub and it is drained off okay so this is the uh, second phase which is a spin phase okay that uh, it uh, it performs 100 rotations per minute with the help of centrifugal force it rotates very fast so the water is forced out of the inner tub and clothes are dried so this was the second phase called as a spin phase now there are two pipes water inlet pipe and water outlet pipe the water inlet pipe is connected to water supply line of our home and it controls the level of water inside the washing machine and this water outlet pipe is used to drain the water out of the machine after the clothes are washed okay so this was the generalized working of this washing machine now see there are various visible interfaces uh, which uh, we can see now what are the visible input interface and visible output interface can you see this keypad and led display this keypad is a uh, visible input user interface and this led display is a uh, output is a output interface which is visible to user now in this keypad this low medium uh, and heavy duty means uh, which type of clothes you want to wash it provides the option okay you want to wash light weighted clothes medium or heavy duty this you have to select the type of clothes then it also provides the option for wash spin and rinse which operation you want to perform then we can also set the timing whether we want 30 minutes whether we want the machine to operate for 30 minutes one hour two hour so all these options are available to user you can user can see the keypad and choose the options and operate the machine by using the keypad okay this is the user interface and it is connected to the uh, control unit okay interfaces are connected to io interface input output interface to control unit okay now next is this uh, led display what is this this is the output interface which is visible to user and this led display shows how much time is completed and how much time is remaining time how much time it is required to do a particular task to wash the clothes that time is displayed by this led display okay so this was about the uh, visible interfaces of the machine now let's see the invisible sensors okay this water level sensor and water temperature sensor is invisible to us we cannot see them now invisible actuators now this tumble tub motorized agitator okay and this water inlet uh, pipe this is invisible to the user so actuators and sensors are invisible to users okay now uh, this was uh, about the working of the washing machine okay uh, it is very simple uh, i hope you have understood the working of this washing machine and like this video so please like, share and subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you will get the notifications. Thank you and bye bye.